and welcome to the No Fear Sock Knitting class online. My name is Denise and in today's class we are going to learn how to knit the Shadow Wrap Short Row Heel in a contrasting color. I am so excited to bring this tutorial to you today. I've had so many questions and emails and direct messages on Instagram with uh, questions on how to do this. So I thought it is time for a tutorial. Uh, I have my socks ready right over there. So let's jump right in. And as always, as always, if you have any questions about this at the end, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And I will also link to other tutorials in the description box. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have completed my blue stripe and I am now ready to start the contrasting heel. So I've broken my yarn right about where the next color is going to start. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, just break that off and now I'm going to start with the contrasting. And what I do when working the contrasting heel, let's move that out of the way, I weave in my ends as I go. So you are going to have four ends to weave in. So we're going to cover the heel as well as weaving in the ends in this tutorial. Okay, so I'm getting myself ready. And yes, I am working on two circular needles, but this method, as always, can be applied to any technique that you are using. It's two circulars, magic loop, double points, or nine inch needles. So what I do first, bring my contrasting yarn into place. I'm going to take the tail from my main color and I'm going to drape that over the yarn, just over the needle, just like this. I'm going to grab the tail from the contrasting yarn, and I am now going to start weaving in. So these are the first two ends, and we're weaving in the first one right now as we start the heel. So I'm going to drop the tail, and it doesn't matter too much how long the tail is. I usually give myself about five or six inches and I'm going to start. So I'm going to trap that first stitch, that first strand behind the first stitch, then I wrap again and keep going. And I'm going to trap this for about five or six stitches. Uh, yep, and this should be my last one. Okay, so the tail from the main color is now trapped and locked into place. As you can see there, that will not come apart. And this tail, I will work on the return round. Uh, actually, not the return round, but we'll work then as we continue to work the heel. So I'm going to tuck this tail in just to get it out of my way. And this, this is how you start your contrasting heel. So I'm going to work across as always, if you've been following my tutorials, you know that I like to work in what I call real time, just so you can really get a sense of what's happening as opposed to me fast forwarding. So I'm going to work across. I'm not going to demo the entire shadow wrap heel again. Um, there's a full tutorial for that, but I do want you to understand how this portion works. So I'm almost to the end tail is sticking out there almost to the end okay and here I am in my last stitch so I'm going to create that first twin stitch I'm going to lift that bar and I'm going to go in here hold that open or apart there's my first twin stitch that I've created and now I'm going to turn And I'm going to purl back. And this is really important, this part right here, so that you know exactly what strand you're picking up when you get back on this side. So let's purl across together. We're gonna take our time. There is no rush, there's no race. Okay. Just doing our regular purls. And we're gonna come across. So many of us purl slower than we knit, and that's okay. I am I am right there with you. Okay, so I'm almost there. Now when you're doing this method, 
this is going to feel really sloppy and it's going to keep stretching out this stitch. That's normal, everything is fine. So I'm going to bring this a little bit closer so that you can see what I want to pick up is not this strand. Let me hold it this way so you can see. So here's my tail. I'm not picking up this blue strand here. Okay, that is part of the old yarn that I wove in. What I want to do, so let me continue knitting across, purling across. I say this in all of my videos, looking through the camera is so much more challenging <laughs> than looking at the stitches themselves. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a little tug to snug it up a little bit. And what I'm going to do, again, I'm going into right there. I do have to go off camera and to, okay. So I'm picking up the left leg of the stitch the same way that you normally would. In this case, they're two different colors because my contrasting yarn is white and I'm picking up the left leg of the strand, which is of the stitch, which is blue. And I'm going to create my twin stitch and I'm going to put those two stitches back on my left needle and just snug that up a little bit. Believe, trust me, this will all tighten itself up once the heel is complete. I'm going to turn, you see I, tell, I turned carefully, so here I was here. I just held on to it, put my finger there to make sure it doesn't move. And now I'm going to knit across and continue working the shadow wrap heel in my contrasting color as directed in the pattern. Okay, there's nothing, there's no other changes Everything else is knit as directed. Okay, so I am going to do one more real time with you here. And we're gonna come across. And I'm going to create the next twin stitch in a white stitch. The first one was done in the blue because that was the main color. Here I am now to the next stitch and I'm going to pick up right leg of the stitch, slide that onto my needle, just like that. And I've now created my second twin stitch and I'm going to turn and do the same thing on the other side. Curl back across. Okay, my hands are getting a little sticky. <laughs> it's still, it's a kind of a warm day here today. All right, so I'm purling back. About halfway. Now I'm not, as I said just now, I'm not going to knit the entire heel for you because we would be here for an hour or more. <laughs> it doesn't take that long to knit the heel, but nobody wants to actually watch me knit this entire heel for an hour. Uh, that would be fun for no one. So I'm going to work this, the next twin stitch. And now just as I did on the knit side, I'm going to pick up the bar here, pick up that stitch, the left leg of the stitch, which is also white, and put those two twin stitches back on my left needle. Then I'm going to turn. Okay, getting a little tangled there. Then I'm going to turn. Now I'm going to continue, just gave that last stitch a little tug. I'm going to continue working back and forth to create the heel, the shadow wrap heel, and I will meet you back on the other side. Okay, but that is how we start with the contrasting color. So I just wanted to check in. I'm now at the halfway point with the shadow wrap heel. I have all 11 of my stitches of my twin stitches on the sides and my 10 stitches. So now I am going to, I haven't added any additional colors. I'm just going to finish the second half, come down here and then we're going to weave in the rest of our ends and um, I'll show you what to do there. So hang tight. Hello again. So my heel is almost complete. As you can see, I have a triple 
and twin stitch on this side and a triple and twin stitch on this side. So now we are going to work in real time together so that you can see how to weave in all of the ends and rejoin with the main color. Okay, so I'm going to again let that tail hang and I'm going to knit across to the triple stitch. And I've really been studying this. Um, I think once a person understands the rules of something and the nature of something, it's easy for them to um, understand what's happening. Uh, so once you learn the rules, it's easy for you to understand exactly what's happening. And I'm going to explain that little blip that some knitters tend to get on that other, on the one side and not on the other side. So let's work across here. And sometimes in that understanding, it's a little easier to live with an imperfection. Um, although I will still try to find a way to get rid of it because now I really do understand. So anyway, here we are at the triple stitch. It's our second to last one. So I'm going to knit this all knit these three stitches as one. There we go. Now I have to pick up this leg of the stitch one more time. Put that on here and I'm going to create now a white stitch and put that on the needle. Okay, so what's happening here is you have your contrasting color, in this case white, sandwiched between the two dark blue stitches, which is your original color, which is your main color. That's the reason why you're getting the blip. Now, when we get to the other side, as we purl back, you're gonna see that's not going to happen. So let's purl back. We'll do it together. Okay. I'm just going to move my needles out of the way. There we go. Much better. Okay. I'm going to purl across. When you create, when you first start, you are joining the white to the blue yarn, but when you purl back on the very first round, when you very first start the heel, you are actually going to be purling into a white stitch. That's why you're only getting the glitch or the hiccup in the color on one side, your knit side, and not on the purl side, okay? I'm going to, as I'm working through this in this video, I have a few ideas so I will be doing a follow-up to this video as I play around with different um, ways to tweak those stitches. Uh, but in the meantime, this will get you going and get you started with doing a contrasting heel, contrasting color with the shadow wrap heel. So we're almost to the other side. Okay, so I'm coming up on that triple stitch. Here it is. I'm going to purl those three stitches together. Now I'm going to move these two over, pick up that blue strand again, which is right here. Careful not to split. I now have my three stitches that I'm going to slide back onto my left needle. And I dig down really deep so that I catch them all. Okay, again, don't worry, this is all going to come together. Hold and turn, and I'm going to knit across. And I'm now, this is going to be my last round with the contrasting yarn, with the white yarn. So I'm going to knit across. Taking my time. And it really is kind of miraculous how this all comes together once you've woven in those ends and pulled the strands to close the gap in the corners. But that will all make sense in just one moment. So I'm working across. Almost there. Okay. 
So here I am, my last triple stitch, and I'm going to knit all three of those strands together, just like that. Pull this needle out, and I'm now going to break this white yarn. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm going to bring my main color back into play. And now I have to weave in this end and close this space. Get my needles in place. And then I'm going to, sorry, my needle just hit my, uh, <laughs> my frame here, the, um, the, the arm that holds my camera. So now I'm going to, same thing I did in the beginning, I'm going to pull this strand over, get my needle in place. I am in that first stitch. I'm going to give myself about four or five inches, drape that over the needle, knit my first stitch, drop the tail, pick up my working yarn, and I have now trapped the white stitch. I'm going to bring it over. Then you're only trapping every other stitch. So you do one and it puts the yarn to be trapped in the right position. When you knit the next stitch next to it, then you lock it in place. Okay? That's why I do this weaving in over multiples of two. Okay? So I'm going to go, whoops. Just need to loosen this, get rid of the slack there, go over and weave that end in again. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to drop this, tuck that inside, keep going across. I have now rejoined my main color. I'm knitting across my instep now. Nice deep breath. There is no rush. Okay, working across. And I'm going to stop about six stitches. Actually, seven, so two, four, six, one more. Seven stitches before the end. I'm going to put this white strand between my needles and I'm going to weave that end in, okay? So that was the beginning of my contrasting color when I started, and you're going to weave that in the same way. Bring it over, okay? Trap it on the next stitch. Go in and bring it over. Okay, trap it on the next one. Go in and bring it over, whoops, popped off there for a second. You know what, hold on, I'm just going to go off camera for one sec, I'm just getting myself back in the right position here. There we go, haha, <laughs> okay, go over and come through. Okay, again, looks like a hot mess in there, <laughs> all right, now, here is where we're going to close the first, so both of these two ends, this is where we joined originally. So let me move this green strand out of the way. That's my working yarn. Here is the tail. So I'm going to give this a little pull to close that space. Here is the old yarn that I wove in at the beginning, and I'm going to give that a little tug. And I've now closed the space here is that remaining triple stitch that I have to now work. Okay, so that is what you do. Notice I did not pull hard. I just gave a very gentle tug to remove the slack from all of those stitches and close the hole. Now this is poking through on the right side. All you have to do is come in here and just pull that strand and tuck it in. Okay. And that's what everything looks like. I'm going to put this needle into place. I'm going to work that one remaining triple stitch. Now I have 
the tail from restarting with my main yarn to weave in and that is my last strand. So I'm just going to go into that stitch as if it were one, knit that together. When I go in here, okay, there's still too much slack in there. So when I go into the next stitch, remember to put your needle underneath and when you give a tug, hold on, of course it doesn't want to behave. There we go. When you do that, you're also closing up that gap, but you have to do push this strand whether it's a double pointed needle or just the cable from the other needle you just finished using, tuck it under and that eliminates the ladder and that gap and space. So I go into the second stitch, give another little tug, tighten it up even more, and I keep knitting across. Now it doesn't matter if it stays there, I actually push it out of my way because it gets in the way. I keep working across. And we just have the one more end to weave in on the other side. Just pause to push up my glasses. <laughs> okay, almost there. I'm going to stop seven stitches before the end. Two, four, six. I'm right there. Okay. Take this strand, bring it between the needles. It's now running in between. I'm just going to hold it in place with my thumb and I'm going to knit the first stitch. It is not locked in place yet. I knit the next one. Do the same thing over. It's locked in. Over. It's locked in. And then over. And it's locked. In. Now, once I do the same thing I did on the other side, I'm going to get rid of all of these big floppy loose strands. So I give this a pull, find my white end and give that a pull. And I have now eliminated, let's give this one a little bit more of a tug, and this one a little more of a tug. And there we are. So now, pull this through because that's sticking out, same thing as before. So you just want to find that strand, give it a little pull. So now you have your four ends all tucked inside the sock. And here we are. My heel is complete. Let's look at that from both sides. And I have rejoined with my main color and woven in all of my ends. Now I'm going to knit a little bit further and I'm going to show you what it looks like. We're going to look at this, these corners again, once I have a little bit more of the sock knitted up. Okay. But that is how you join and add a contrasting color. So here I have knitted almost a full stripe in the main color. And as you can see, there is our contrasting heel. There you go. Now this stitch is just a little bit larger. Um, that was the purl stitch uh, actually on the knit side. So once I just give that a little tweak and once blocking is also very, very forgiving. So it's amazing what um, will disappear and sort of blend in once your sock has been blocked. And here it is. Here is also a completed heel on my other sock. And there you have it, you guys. That is the Shadow Wrap Short Row Heel in a contrasting color. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And there you have it, the Shadow Wrap Short Row Heel in a contrasting color. And I know I mentioned um, during the demo section of this uh, tutorial that there is that little blip of color. Um, some people have sent me messages with suggestions to get rid of that color and I have tried some of them and I'm still tweaking it and playing with it. So there may be a part two to this down the line, but right now um, it, it doesn't, it's not a huge bother to me. Uh, and as you can see in the finished pair of socks, it's almost undetectable. 
So yeah, if anyone is examining your feet that closely, <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't worry about it. But again, there may be a part two to this, but right now that is how you knit the contrasting shadow wrap short row heel. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I will see you all again very, very soon. Thanks everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.